Hey, 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 it's the Axle Shifter here, and today this is going to be another power scaling video, but this is going to be a continuation because last time I talked about the power level of Mater and how powerful he is, but I've decided that I needed to expand on that and re rework some things because I did talk about his some of his more powerful abilities and feats and other items he can use when it comes to winning most of his battles, but... I never went to the full extent of that, either because I didn't explain it well or there were more stuff that I just didn't mention. But now, this is it. This is the true full power of Mater, where I'm going to be discussing the stuff that I didn't explain well, or I'm going to be discussing some new feats and abilities I haven't talked about for this channel, and especially for Mater. So without further ado, this is the true power of Sir. Mater. Now let's start this off with something I already talked about in the previous Mater Power Scale video. The feat where he basically has these rocket boosters in the end of the movie where he tells Finn and Holly that he just needs one more thing before they leave. And that is the rocket boosters. These rocket boosters give him a huge burst in speed, making it possibly even faster than Jackson Storm. Actually he is faster than Jackson Storm because look at him, he is fucking rocketing away. He goes so fast that he's potentially creating a sonic boom, per se. Well, he's not actually breaking the sound barrier, but still. He's actually still going really fast in the scene, faster than the rest of the World Grand Prix racers, and he's even capable of zooming through corners extremely fast as well. But that's not only the other speed feed that we get for his boosters. He's pretty capable of keeping up with lightning on his own when it comes to racing, per se. And yeah. But now let's get into the other booster, which we see in the newest addition to this franchise, Cars on the Road. In an episode of Cars on the Road, Lightning and Mater go to a rocket car show where they see many other drag racers tizzy out their speed, and Mater decides to get modified into his brand new form or transformation or modification or whatever you like to call him, Turbo Mater. Turbo Mater has another huge boost in speed, capable of which he is reaching speeds at at least, as they say, 400, 500 to 700 miles per hour, meaning that with this other boost, Mater can still travel at the exact same speed, and with the same speed as the other spy boosters in the end of Cars 2 gave him. So yeah, those are two feats of speed, but now we have to feature his other strength or time travel feats. Yep, that's right, Mater is capable of time travel. In a Cars 2 Mater's Tall Tale short, Time Travel Mater, Mater is seen moving a sign when it accidentally falls on him, but then the clock falls on his hood and gets stuck to him. Then he sneezes, causing him to travel backwards so fast that the clock glitches and electrocutes and takes him back in time, back when Radiator Springs was never founded and when Stanley was still alive. He even cap he's even capable of traveling back to the present and bringing lightning with him, and even capable of altering the past and the future in the as a whole, where as Mater interacted with Stanley, he never would have founded Radiator Springs, causing most of the Cars franchise to never even start and never happen in the first place. So yeah, so that means if any other opponent, Mater could easily time travel by sticking a clock onto his hood, well, any clock that's similar to the shape and size of his engine, and just tamper with their lives to the point where they could just never be born, trap them in the past, or bring them to the future where something else could happen, or he could pretty easily kill them by just killing them in the past and not making them live in the future, basically. And in another short called Monster Truck Mater, he also does a bunch of other crazy stuff which involves the sport of wrestling. And keep in mind, Mater is just starting out and he already won his first match as he eventually rises up to the rings and beats the other famous Monster Truck wrestlers, eventually becoming the Tormentor. Basically, it's just an even more powerful version of Mater where he's now a monster truck, meaning he has a lot more strength and durability and he can easily run over any other vehicle and he's even capable of lifting the stadium to the point where this giant fucking Frankenstein vehicle is flipped over while the Frankenstein vehicle is on the stadium. And remember, these are vehicles here, which are much heavier compared to any other regular object, 
we see in the everyday world and much heavier than just a standard vehicle this is a fucking monster truck frankenstein vehicle here while he was on the stadium and in another short named unidentified flying mater he meets an alien named mator who gives him the power to fly and has other alien powers and managed to break in to escape him once he was captured by the u.s military and area 51 and they managed to break him out along with mcqueen by his side and he also just does even more crazier stuff, which I'll talk about right now. Mater was also a bulldozer fighter in El Matador, another Mater's Tall Tale short where El Matador, that's his name, where Mater fights actual lively bulldozers who are sentient vehicles, of course, just like everything else, and even gets hit by one and is buried in the ground by it. And as he is presumed dead and was presumably killed by the bulldozer but however later he gets back up and fights several of them at once and still manages to come out on top and the bulldozers are also pretty fast themselves as they're even showed keeping up with lightning mcqueen who is a literal race car by the way if you didn't know meaning that these bulldozers are way faster than you would first assume and I've already talked about this, but in the short Tokyo Mater, Lightning blasts Mater with this fire blast, and Mater gets blasted out of a pipe and flows all the way to the air and then lands back to the ground, still functioning and driving. Well, despite the fact that his modifications were all gone, he still manages to win the race and beat Kabuto, becoming the ultimate drifting master. And the fact that he still survived that proves that Mater is pretty durable, and even when his rest of his modifications and stuff get torn off, he could still function in the fight and still probably win. And during the climax of Cars 2, we see Mater fighting several different of the Lemon Thug enemies near the end of the movie, where are the ones that would cause his conspiracy. And this shows that after the decent amount of fighting experience, he's perfectly capable of fighting off the enemies just to save his friends. He's also equipped with other weapons and guns as well, thanks to Finn and Holly modifying him a bit. This includes a spy system that allows to determine the probability of certain things happening before they seemingly happen, such as in the casino game scene and the ability to analyze the case studies of other cars and or document their history as shown there and this could later help him get the idea of who he's fighting since basically he can see their crimes history and other important info to know about that person or vehicle now this probably won't be useful against something that's not a vehicle but it is something worth noting also, Mater has tons of experience when it comes to his life and doing other things throughout it. This includes being a daredevil, a detective, an air pilot, a firefighter, and a doctor with an MD and a PhD. Or how was even capable of being smart enough to solve the conspiracy in Cars 2, and was even dubbed Sir Tomater by the Queen of England, which is why I call him Sir Tomater. And that's not even going to the video games and the comics. And yes, in this part two edition of the crazy power of Sir Tomater, we're going into the comics. In one car's comic book, we see Mater has been given by Finn a super satellite seeker, which allows it to detect everyone and anything and know where they are at all times. Meaning that if an opponent somehow managed to try to escape Mater, Mater would still be able to track them down or just simply kill them by doing so meaning that there is no escaping mater and even then he just used it for a game of hide and seek but yeah my point still stands and in another cars of the adventures of toe mater comic book he is seen using a clone machine called Mater's Cloninator, which basically means that in this machine, Mater can use clones of himself to overwhelm the opponent during the battle and eventually overpower them with the several clones of itself and just win outright, or just simply just kill them, would still win. And in the very first Cars movie, Mater is shown to be perfectly aware of his surroundings, with him being the world's best backwards driver. He can easily look backwards thanks to his rear view mirrors, and to the point where he can't really crash into anything. It would be basically impossible for him. And yeah. 
Now it's time we get into the Cars 2 of the video game. The game where all the characters are botched down to the same power level and can use several other different weapons. These include Force Fields, which is basically the zone ability where you mash the X button a few times or any other platform or console you play at the point where you go extremely fast boost where you have a Force Field that can knock other opponents or cars away and a satellite laser that destroys anything in its path. But now we have reached the end of the crazy power of Sir Tomater Part 2. Now, if any more crazy stuff happens to Mater in the Cars franchise, then maybe I'd probably make a Part 3. I don't know. I don't really see myself doing that because... I think I've already showcased just how powerful this tow truck truly is. Well, if you factor all of his crazy feats and strength and power throughout all the sorts of different media we see him on in comics, video games, the TV show recently, the shorts, and the movies, of course, the classic trilogy. But yeah, Mater is just an extremely powerful character and an absolute force to be reckoned with, given all of his weapons, abilities, experience, and powers. He could really, truly be one of the strongest characters in all of fiction, really, to be honest, because unlike other types of characters, like even other animated characters like Gru or Megamind or any other type of characters, including Metro Man and stuff. Now, Metro Man would probably still win, but still. And that isn't even going over the fact that the same alien Mator who gave him the power to fly in the Cars Mater's Tall Tales video game, that same alien dude also has the power of telekinesis, which means that most likely Mater would be able to do the same thing, considering that now Mater did specifically say that he gave him the power to fly, but that doesn't also mean he possibly couldn't have gained some other abilities from Mator, which would also technically mean that Mater could be possibly part alien now, and also he could easily track anyone and anything and easily defeat them thanks to his super satellite seeker, and also, even without it, he's still perfectly aware of his surroundings, with him being the world's best backwards driver. He can easily kill an opponent without hitting anything for the entire fight. He's also way smarter, considering that he is a doctor, a daredevil, a firefighter, and even a space astronaut and can easily keep a cool head and well that's it now i've talked about how powerful tow truck is so bye